Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. How are we all doing? I thought I would just do a little day in the life video today just because you guys asked for the last one and you really enjoyed it. And today I've got a few things planned. Today is a bit of like a bittersweet kind of day because I'm doing something I really hate. I'm also doing something I really love. So the first thing of the day is I'm going to the dentist and I don't remember the last time I went to the dentist. I'm so scared of the dentist and I've not really had anything terrible done to my teeth. Like it's not like I've had a really bad experience which is why I hate the dentist. Like nothing like that's happened. I think I've had one, maybe two fillings and I am the worst when it comes to like injections and stuff and obviously they had to do a little injection in my gums so I didn't feel it and I literally didn't feel a thing but that was before my phobia for needles grew so honestly if they turn around today and they're like you need a filling I'm gonna be like I'm never going back Really, I should be going to the dentist more because then obviously then I lessen my chance of ever having to have something drastic done to my teeth. So I should be going more regularly. The only reason it's booked in is because mum was like, I booked the dentist in because I was getting emails. And you guys, let's face it, aren't going to do it. And I was like, no, I hold my hands up. Like, I'm probably not going to book the dentist by myself. I don't want to go. So mum booked that. Thanks, mum. I'll have to ask her when we see her because I can't remember the last time I went to the dentist. You're meant to go like every six to nine months or something, aren't you? Maybe it's like... 18 months, like every year and a half. I don't actually know. It's definitely been like a good two years since I went. Last time he was like, you need to floss more. And I was like, okay. I have been doing that though. So I'm hoping he clocks that and he's like, well done. You've been flossing. And I can be like, thank you. And I've also switched to an electric toothbrush because he said to do that too. And I, when I say I switched to an electric toothbrush, Mum literally ordered me and Kaylee one like two weeks ago because she was like, I remember when we were at the dentist last, they said to use an electric toothbrush and we were like, yeah, yeah, they did say that like two, three years ago. So two, three weeks ago, we got one. Um, two, three years ago? When was the last time we went to the dentist? I went in 2022, so I don't know when you went. Well, how, you, how often are you meant to go to the dentist? I don't know, it depends on when they ask you. Look at her just sticking her two pence in. I could Here she comes. Two, three years? I was like, I literally went a year ago. You said 2022, it's 2024. Just. Okay, fine. <laughs> How that you are. Down. When did I go to the dentist then? Did I go when you went? No, you went You went after me. You've been oh. re more recently than me. So how often are you meant to go? You don't know. Maybe like a year. I guess it depends on your teeth when you go. So we're on track then. Well, we're still late. We're still late. But, but better than we was before. We missed it for like three years before, didn't we? I mean, that was lockdown that and was things. Lockdown. But that, okay. That's why I was so scared when we were back. Because it was lockdown and I don't, it was the first time I'd been without braces. Kaylee hadn't been in ages. And we... Did I go first? Because... You always go first. Because I was terrified, so I just need to get it out of the way. So everyone's like, Shan, you go first. And I was like, okay. And I was like, oh no, you know what, it's fine. Kaylee went in and had a full-blown panic attack. Well, it was because normally we all go in the room, but because of lockdown, only mum oh, was allowed yeah. in. So I couldn't go in and, like... We make it out as if it's, like, a proper, like, surgery. No, no, we need every, visiting hours at the dentist. Everyone hates the dentist. And I bet you so many people would say that they feel the same. Yeah. But mum... Only mum was allowed to go in, so I had to sit in the waiting room by myself. And I can't yeah. be by myself before I do something like that. Because I so just... then you'd work yourself skyrocket out. Skyrocket my anxiety. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing even happened. No. I literally had a checkup, but I was crying. It was the first time we had that guy as well. Oh, yeah. I don't and know. I remember... Yeah. Uh, Sorry if you watch this, which you won't, but... I don't mind him. I don't like him because he was like, have you ever flossed? And I was like, no, I've not flossed. He was like, let me show you how to floss. And I was like, because I just think you go between your teeth, but actually you're meant to go, like, into the gum, aren't you? So he was like, let me show you. And obviously where I haven't done that, my gums were, like, attached to my teeth. So he's gone like that. And I was like, oh, my God. And he was like, it's, it's all right. right. And I was like, speak for yourself. And I was in agony. I was like, don't touch me again. <laughs> and now here we are again, dreading to go back. But I'm glad that it's been just a year. I thought it had been really... Like a no, really long time. Two, three years. I was thinking, definitely not. A year max. Like, I can't just, remember. Just over a year for me. I'm quite proud then. A little pat on the back. I'm actually quite impressed. Let this be your reminder to go and get your dentist appointment booked. <laughs> but yes, yeah, so we've got the dentist today, so I'm already dreading that. I've also got my fifth and final free therapy session through work today, which I'm going to have to sit and have in my car in the station car park at Billericay because straight after that. We're grabbing the train at Billericay and heading into London because we're going to see Jamie, the musical world. Everybody's talking about Jamie, the musical. I just call it Jamie, the musical because it's long to say the full title. So we're going to see that. Kay, you haven't seen it, have you? No, none of us have seen this. So me, Kaylee and Mum are all going together. We've got that planned today. So it's a really random Thursday. So we're doing some really good things and some really crappy things. We'll probably have dinner in London as well, which will be nice. So yeah, I just thought you could enjoy the day with us. I'm not obviously going to film in the dentist because nobody wants to see that. But I'll catch up with you afterwards. And hopefully they're proud of me and how well I've kept my teeth. They look good. Do they look good to you guys? If you haven't already spotted, guys, these teeth all really straight. This one... 
is like all the way up here. It's like a um, like a wolf fang, yeah. It's like my little vampire tooth, I like to call it. And I always have to like spend extra time brushing that one tooth because I miss it because it's not in line with the rest of my teeth. I'm just at the camera like grinning like this. <laughs> you can see all of these. So when I'm cleaning, I do this one and I just and do then this. underneath. I yeah. don't get down here. <laughs> they look really white there. We're just grinning. <laughs> Sorry guys. <laughs> Clean your teeth properly guys and book your dentist in. Let this be your reminder. We're gonna go now. Wish us luck. We have good news guys. My teeth are fine. Thank the Lord. Happy days. Thankfully, I've not got any fillings booked in to go. No teeth are being taken out. We're all good. We were laughing in there because he was actually really nice. I don't think I've had him as a dentist before and we always go to the same dentist we've been going to since we were like babies my mum's been going there since she was three she refused to take us anywhere else and then like in the last few years or so quite a few years now the dentists have been switching up and like we haven't really been too phased about who we have but we always had the same person at the beginning so i think that's why the last few times have been so scary because we haven't had somebody that we knew we trusted whereas today we had somebody that i'm pretty sure i've never had before but he was so chatty he was talking to us about the musical we were gonna go and see he was talking to me about cabin crew and like what my favorite place was so obviously we got onto the topic of disney and he was saying about how he's going to Disneyland Paris soon. So we were obviously talking about that. I don't know how I manage it, but every person I speak to, I end up talking about Disney with them. Every single person. And I swear half the time, I don't even bring it up. Like, it's not even my fault. But I just end up in Disney conversation. But actually, I'm not sorry about it because... I love talking about Disney. And we were laughing about how my mum has been going there for years and how she had um, Dr. McCarthy from like age three. And we were saying how he had like a little drawer of like lollipops and stickers and stuff. And he was like, I've still got them in there. And we were cracking up. And I was like, I will take a sticker. But then he didn't offer me one, so. But um, yeah, we were laughing about that. It was quite funny. But yeah, it was really nice actually. We felt really calm and confident in there. And obviously, got the good news that all of our teeth are really good. So we're really happy about that. And now we can actually relax. I've got my therapy session that I've got to sit in the car and do. And it's my last one and I've actually got quite a few things that I need to talk about with her actually so the whole reason I was doing therapy in the first place was because of my anxiety through work whereas now like I've sort of come to terms with that a little bit more I'll fill you all in properly about that when I know details but I've kind of got to like a safe ground where I feel quite calm about everything now so hopefully I'll have a little process in place soon and things will be switching up very soon however more recently even though you know you'd think that that's a real weight off my shoulders and you know i can relax finally my mood has not been okay recently like obviously i missed a video last week and that was purely because i had a video planned that then didn't go ahead and that wasn't actually my fault but then the thought of picking up the camera last minute was like an absolute no and it's purely because my mood has been so rubbish recently that's so low maybe it's just because it's the time of year i really don't know but if anybody else is really struggling then feel free to give me a message because it would be really nice to chat mental health with more people you know so that we all don't feel like we're on our own you know because i know there's more people out there but sometimes when you don't talk to people about it you do feel like you're on your own and your feelings and stuff but yeah i really don't know what it is i'm starting to think that i've actually got like a hormonal imbalance and i know that there's tests you can do to figure that out so i'm i think i'm gonna work work on that if anybody knows of any good you know at home hormonal imbalance tests so i could find out because i think that would be really interesting to know maybe that is the reason or maybe i'm just you know i'm just not i'm just not my best self recently and i might just have to accept that it's not fun though i can't lie anyway i'm gonna have my therapy session just chilling in the car i'll catch up with you after and then i'm gonna catch up with mum and Kay, and we're gonna go to london have a nice little meal and see jamie see our good friend jamie well i've had my last session and i'm not crying that was actually really good. Therapy is a process, everybody. Therapy is a whole process. Only now have I got like this sense of relief. Like my first two sessions were a little bit like, eh, I don't really know what this is doing. The second two sessions were like, right, this is where the bump is. I'm starting to feel it working, but it's actually causing me more pain. We got over the bump and now I'm like, and it's worked out well because obviously that's my last session. So it's, it's good timing. But I'm definitely going to get on to the NHS. Like I'm on their waiting list anyway. So hopefully within the next month. I've already been on the waiting list for like three months. The wait list for NHS therapy is just crazy. But yeah, hopefully within the next month they'll be contacting me. And then I will have that in the bag as well. So I'd love to carry on with it. If you'd asked me that last week, I probably would have said, yeah, I don't really know if it's for me. And I think I did say that to a few people. But I think it really works. So like today she said some things and I was just like, I never really thought about it that way. And I can't 
class myself as somebody that's quite level-headed I always see things from all sorts of point of view I feel like I could be quite understanding and I just still never looked at it in that light and then as soon as she'd said it and then I thought about it the sense of relief that I got and I feel really good after that session which hasn't happened yet like after most of my sessions I'm like oh that was just a lot like I'm overwhelmed I'm miserable like i don't want to do anything now but like after that session i'm like i'm ready for the rest of the day probably helps that i'm looking forward to a nice meal and a nice show in london now but still it's quite sad in a way because i'm probably not going to speak to her again didn't even know what she looked like she helped me a lot and i've only just realized that it's my fifth session so therapy's a process if you're umming and ahhing about therapy and you say maybe you're in like second or third session and you're just like what's the point just keep at it keep going at least you can give yourself a pat on the back and be like I did that for me. That's something in itself, so <sighs> I feel good. Anyway, I'm gonna go catch up with the others and head into London now. <laughs> hey, well done. <laughs> <laughs> Gooey caramel cheesecake. Yes, please. It's a rainy day in London, oh, guys. <laughs> We're here. We made it. <laughs> we just had a really nice meal in Nando's. However, I couldn't film on the way through. I did try, but it was putting it down with rain. But we've made it. So this is, we've worked out, is the UK tour version now. So it's off of West End, it's literally just finished in West End and this is their opening night in London in the Peacock Theatre so we've made it. <laughs> Can't even see that. Giovanna Fletcher's in this and I'm so excited to watch her in this. It's so cute, like look at the stage already. I don't even know if you can see that. Can you see the set? Look at the um, look at them up there, like you can see the orchestra in the background and yeah all their school desks are there as well. I've got myself a programme and a pin obviously but we're just trying to work out if there's potentially a difference between the West End version and the tour version. Normally there is sometimes but then sometimes there's shows that are like exactly the same aren't they? They're just on a smaller stage. No but um, we haven't seen the West End version so this will be our first time watching this. I think I've seen the film, Mum's seen the film, Kaylee has. I started it but I never finished it. So we know like a I few of the songs. I've watched like maybe about half an hour so now I have Yeah so we're like completely out of our depth for this one. Which is good because we don't have an expectation so we're looking forward to it. Plus G's in it so I'm buzzed. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with her, I just think she's cool. I know I just love her but we're very excited.
my god, Jamie was unbelievable. So, so good. Sorry for the poor lighting, but honestly, I've had to come into Kaylee's room to finish the vlog because I don't currently have a light in my room. My light bulb blew. And Dad's currently away on holiday and I'm just a girl. <laughs> I can't fix those things. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna have to do it with no light bulb in my room. I have to just do it with my lamp. You could easily change your light bulb. No. Are you stupid? No, Kaylee. No, you could easily, that's like, I wanna go find a light bulb right now. We're not changing the light bulb right now. You could literally change the light bulb. I just gotta go no. find one. I'm just a girl. Well, you can do that. I'm it's 20 past midnight and here she is trying to fix my light. Anyway, sorry, I look so tired because I am. Jamie was insane. I didn't have any expectations. I didn't really know what to expect from this show. It's not one that's been like really high on my list as such. Probably before I went to see it, I could have just been like, you know, it's not really one I'm bothered about, but it's an absolute must see. Like that was the touring version that's just off of West End, but the talent was unbelievable so so good i loved it the storyline the music like i was crying by song two which was a really bad start it's so emotional it was so good the choreography we were saying how we loved the choreography and we just wanted to like get involved like we just wanted to learn it and be a part of the show he who played jamie was unreal so so good i loved it i'm so glad that i went to see it loved it so much i think kenny's actually come back to try and fix this why are we doing this now it's really not that hard <laughs> i mean right, try that. oh god <laughs> yay i'm so proud of you look at you it's just like magic i'm just a girl <laughs> look at me and my new energy saving light bulb isn't she good Handyman K. Do you know how easy now? that was? Yes, but... I saw this video earlier. Oh, no, it was a picture. And it said, I'm really independent until it's anything to do with my car. I was like, that is me. Like, Dad's gone away and I need to change my two front tyres, but I refuse to do it until he comes back. And all I need to do is ring somewhere that can get the tyres in and fit them for me. And I'm not prepared to do it until he comes back. I just can't believe you were just going <laughs> to sit in the dark for a week. Well, I have a lamp. <laughs> yeah, but why? There's literally <laughs> light bulbs downstairs. All you have to do is push it, turn it, pull it out, and change it. As long as the light bulb ain't on and you go... Poof. Well, now I know, see? There you go. Do you know where the light bulbs are? No. Or do you know where to guess? One of the drawers in the kitchen. There you go. Don't speak to me like I'm <laughs> stupid. You were going to sit in the dark for a week because you you'd blown your light bulb. I don't appreciate this. I could just imagine me going away this weekend and <laughs> you sleeping in my bed so that you could have the light on. I don't need light though. I've got natural light until five. And then I just put my lamp on. <laughs> anyway, light bulb's fixed. Yay! Yay! Lumos! It's late. We need to go to bed. I like a cupcake. You're having a cupcake now. Oh, they look good. Do you want one? Welcome to a day in the life with two night owls. Get it in love, Jesus. This is a hard bit. Isn't it? It's gone midnight and here we are changing light bulbs and eating cupcakes. It's only a little one. No, stop. No, stop. It's time to go to bed. I think I'm a bit delusional. I'm just a girl in the world. What's the words? In my throat. What is that? This? Yeah, it's not. People. I feel like we've achieved quite a lot today. <laughs> <laughs> well, in my head. <laughs> got out of bed. <laughs> Actually, yes, if you got out of bed today and did nothing else, congratulations. We went to the dentist. Tick. That's a good thing. And we actually thoroughly enjoyed Changed ourselves. Changed the light bulb. Changed the light bulb, that's what I'm saying. Changed the light bulb. Feeling very accomplished. And tackled London tube trains once again. Here we are. Anyway, I think it's bedtime now. I'm going to run and enjoy my... had a great day. I've had lots of fun with my friends. I'm dribbling crumbs everywhere. Dribbling crumbs? What was I going to say? Crumbling crumbs? I'm dropping them? Oh. <laughs> dribbling them? 
It's late, okay? I'm dribbling crumbs. I just... We've got very nice teeth as a family. All Look together. Yeah, that's what they said. We've got nice teeth as a family. Thank you. I got a pat on the back for wearing my retainers. Didn't get a sticker or a lollipop though, did we? No, he said we would as well. I know, he was he like, said, don't worry, you're still there, there are stuff in there, and I was like, I've still walked away without one, do you know what I mean? Give me one, though. I didn't have to say my speech about how I'm not drinking fizzy drinks anymore. The other guys normally like, you're not flossing. You're do you want not, me to show you how to floss? You're drinking too many fizzy drinks, you. <laughs> and I was ready Stop to be like, drinks. I drink water. And he didn't even ask. Can't say the same. Didn't even ask. Oh, so sad. I was Sorry, rehearsing darling. my speech. I had it set and ready. He didn't ask. <laughs> What's your belly doing? I want another cupcake, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alright, then. Let's do that. Two. Two. Did you want another one? No, I'm one? joking, that was enough. <laughs> I'm losing my friggin' mind. Oh, anyway, guys, it's bedtime now. You stop talking. I need to go to sleep. <laughs> stop talking. <laughs> right, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for joining us. Bye bye. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Should we do the, the swipe? Can you do one of them? Well, I don't oh, really. I'm not swiping the wrong bit. I'll swipe there. Well, no, because I fade. Well, you change your transition for this No. Time. Can I go like, whoosh? Sure. Okay. Katie okay, wants to do a funky, funky? Funky. Won't you take me to funky town? Won't you take me to funky town? Yeah. But you were like, no, sorry. Bah! I was ready to go. I've been inspired. Okay, we're going to bed now, guys. Peace out. Thank you so, so much for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh. You messed it up. Ready? Go now. Bye! Oh. <laughs>